No one's questioning that. Well, thank you. Look, I may be putting my head in the noose right now, but do you mind if I speak my mind? Yes. Yeah. Do I have permission? When did you need permission to speak? Since now. Go ahead. You're not the only one under the fire, you know. The whole force is under the gun. I mean, first it was Bert Ramsey selling out the department. Don't put me in the Look, just hear me out, all right? You have to admit that that whole affair really damages the morale of this, uh, this whole force. I know that. Now, a thing like that, and then all this bad publicity coming right after it, it's like mildew getting into a house. It starts eating away, spreading, and all of a sudden, it's into the whole structure. You don't think I wanted this, do you? You didn't foresee it, no. So what are we talking, hindsight? Is that what this is all about? No, 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 no. It's just that something has got to be done. The morale is bad. The public opinion is just destroying this force. I mean, the cops, the, the patrolmen, they don't even trust their superior officers. Now, that could get a cop killed unless we change it. Do you think I should resign? No, 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 I, uh, you haven't done anything wrong. It doesn't stop me from throwing you to the wolf, though, does it? You're in a prominent position. It comes with the territory. Look, I don't believe you had anything to do with a so-called cover-up, but I'm taking your word on blind faith. Thank you. Nobody else will. I don't know what the department wants. I don't know whether they want my head on the platter, a sacrificial offering to the irresponsible press. But all I do know is that Duke didn't tell me anything about a killing or a cover-up. It was all a secret. I want you to make that very clear to your entire Due to illness, the part of Edward Quatermain is being played by Les Tremaine. Today's paper, Lila? Looking at it now, dear. It's just dreadful. Yeah, you're telling me. The, the news about Duke and Anna is just terrible. Oh, I'm sure it's just a misunderstanding. Yeah, so was the Titanic, but a lot of people lost their lives. Oh. You know, I told you Duke Lavery he was a crook. Edward. Yeah, but you wouldn't believe me, would you? Edward, remember your blood pressure. You wanted to hire him. When are you going to listen to me, Lila? I've had a great deal more experience in the real world, you know. But I live in the same world, Edward. No, I don't think so. You've been pampered and protected in a silk cocoon. A, a co cocoon, dear? I spotted Duke Lavery as a crook the minute I laid eyes on him. But you think everybody's into shady dealings? Well, everybody is. Well, I'm in business and I'm not, and neither is Mr. Donnelly. Hmm. He is if he's tied up with Duke Lavery. And at HTI yet, and with my investment. I'm very busy right now. Well, this won't take a minute. Why? Because I talk fast. No, no, no. Why, why do you want to talk to me? Well, can I just come in, please? Well, it depends, really. On what? On whether you are here as a media person or as a friend. Ooh. Ouch. I don't think I deserve that. Well, you are in the business of transmitting news to the hungry public. Well, yes, but that's not why I'm here. It's exactly what Mark Conner said when he first came. He said that he wanted to do an article on the Port Charles Police Department. Didn't know he wanted my skull. Are you comparing me to him? We're doing the same business. <laughs> well, I like to think I have some scruples. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> Look, I don't blame you for being so touchy about this. There are some people in this business that are out for blood, you know? Mm -hmm. I know that's not why you're here. And I don't think that you really trust any news people right now. But look, look, and I mean, we've got some very good friends in common, like, like Sean I know, and Robert. Yeah. And, and, and remember how much fun we had the day that I, I helped you pick out your wedding dress? Uh, well, it was a fiasco. I know it's a fiasco, but you, you won't hold that against me, will you, please? No, I won't. I'm sorry, but I didn't mean to snap at you. I apologize. I accept. But it's just that nasty thoughts are contagious. It's awful how that works, isn't it? Oh, well, yes, it is. Well, I, for one, do not believe any of that garbage that they're saying about you. Not a bit. And I have come to offer my help. Oh, and I was just about to bite the hand that feeds me. I have come up with a brilliant idea. I want you to come on my late morning talk show. Oh, Tiffany, come on. The last thing I want is any more publicity. Don't be too sure about that. Now, look, I mean, this is the perfect form for you to speak to the people of Port Charles. I don't want to speak to the people of Port Charles. Why not? Because I've got nothing to say. I find that hard to believe. Oh, no, come on. Why should I talk to people who want to condemn me? They want to think the worst of me. People always want to think the worst of everybody. That's why you've got to fight. I can't. Boy, they've really done a number on you, haven't they? That's right. They did. 
Well, Anna, I know something about you that I don't know if everybody else in this town knows, and that is you are a fighter. See? Well, I don't think that Robert and Sean would love somebody that's a quitter. I'm not a qu I just don't want to beat my head against a brick wall anymore. Well, think about how those guys are feeling. I mean, not to mention Duke. Don't mention Duke. It's over. I just stuck to my instincts two months ago. Yeah, but you didn't. I know. Well, don't you think that somewhere deep down inside, you have to be responsible for that? You don't have to tell me that. Well, then do something. Speak up and fight for what you believe. What's true? All right. All right, I'll do it. But not for me. This is for the people here in the department and for my daughter. Okay. Okay. It would be a good idea to find out what my future is going to be like here in Port Charles. I think it's a very good idea, a wonderful way to go. On one condition. Name it. I want Mark Carlin there. <laughs> Are you crazy? On the same show you want Mark Carlin? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. Why? Because I am sick and tired of this whispering campaign. I want it all out in the open. Tiffany, I will not do your show unless I am face to face with my inquisitor. Yeah, well, Anna, I think that's a little risky. Yeah, you're damn right it's risky. That's why I'm going to go for it. All right! All right! <laughs> <sighs> Again, I just... I meant that I don't have the right to expect anything more from you. Yeah, that's correct. I know you hate me, Duke, and I don't blame you. But I feel more pity for you than hate. Sorry. I wish it were hate, at least it's a strong emotion. So what's done is done. Duke, I would give anything to go back and do things differently. <sighs> Wouldn't we all? But now we have to live with the consequences of your actions, and my actions as well. You really loathe me, don't you? I came to warn you. The Canadian authorities will probably try to extradite us fairly soon. I don't care what happens to me. Let them punish me. I deserve it. For what? Evan's murder. Maybe not. But look at everything else that is. I don't want to go into that now. I don't have any choice, Duke. I've talked to Jake Mayer. He'll do everything he can to help you. Duke, I know you may not believe this, but I am more concerned what happens to you and Anna than I am about me. You're right about one thing. What? Do you mind if I, uh, watch Tiffany Hill's show on your television? No, no. I didn't realize it. I'll, I'll turn it on. What do you think? Gorgeous. Ugh, what a bore. Gorgeous, gorgeous. That's all I ever is gorgeous. Why do you always give me the same answer? Because you always ask the same question. Thank you. Oh, Anna, there you are. This is time for makeup. Here. Makeup? Oh, yes. No, uh, no, I don't need makeup, thank you. Oh, such confidence. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm glad to get Okay, well, uh, Mark Carlin is eyes way over, but there's still time to put him on hold if you want to. No, I definitely want him on the show. Uh, listen, I was wondering whether we could possibly have uh, the station's phone number up on the screen. Sure, there's no problem. I want to gauge the audience's response. You know, win or lose, I want to know where I stand. 
They don't trust me, then they don't want me to choose the lead. You got it. Uh, what kind of format did you want to use for this? I'm going to make a statement. Mm -hmm. The truth to Mark Connor and see if he can answer it. You got it. Okay, uh, I'm going to introduce you first, right? But okay. first, I got to make a phone call. Your phone up here. Everybody here. Yeah, I need the phone. Chief Devane. Very fine, thanks. And how are you? Well, hello, Miss Carlin. Miss Hill, how'd you pull this one off? Well, you're not the only person in the news business, you know. Yeah, but to get us both on the same show, that's a real coup. <laughs> a well, stroke of genius. Yeah, well, actually, it was Chief Devane's idea. You're kidding. I, unlike some reporters, do not kid. Well, this should be very interesting. Hmm, to say the least. Uh, so it's your turn. Can't wait. 